Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Um, I wanted to come on and make a video for the families <clears throat> so that way they kind of know like what this week's going to look like <clears throat> as well as um, kind of the expectations for students and how you guys can see their assignments um, as well as the students. I will also be making a video separately for the students that just shows them where their assignments are but I was hoping this could kind of help explain some of the expectations as well. Please make sure that you watch the videos from Mr. Day. He's made two. Um, he made one Friday. He made one today, um, which is all in the um, parent newsletter on the website that I send out. I, well, I try and send out every week. Um, so just make sure you watch those two because those are really good clarification as well as if your child doesn't have a Chromebook, like they left it at school, um, please make sure that you listen on how you can get that Chromebook if you need it, um, because your child's gonna need it for the next two weeks while we're doing our virtual learning, okay? Um, so just for you guys, um, if you take a look at the screen, you'll kind of see double classes on my end because I have two separate classes for each group. So like I have math Donahue's homeroom, math Kroger's homeroom, reading Donahue's homeroom, reading Kroger's homeroom. So you can see all the classes like this. Um, but when you log into Canvas, you'll see your child's, all of your child's um, classes, whether that would be reading, math, science, social studies, as well as some of our specials classes also have Canvas accounts. Not all of them do, but some of them do. So just keep an eye out for that as well. Um, so if you're looking for your child's work each day, it's a little different for like math and science for me and then for Mr. Kroger for reading and social studies. So for math and science, if you click on your child's math, math or science class, it'll open up. The first thing you'll see is an announcement from me um, just explaining this is for tomorrow. We do have Google Meets that we'll be doing um, three times a day for this coming week, for the asynchronous week. These weeks are truly just check-ins and like, here's what you're doing today, that kind of deal, as well as at 9 a.m., um, we will be taking attendance. So just keep that in mind. Um, the 11 a.m. and the 3 p.m. logins are really, they only have to come on there if they have a question about an assignment. So at 11 a.m., um, they can log into like my math class if they don't understand the math assignment and they want me to walk them through it. Um, or at 3 p.m., they want to log in so they can get help with science. So if they don't understand the science assignment for the day, they can log in that way. Um, same goes for reading. They can log into Mr. Kroger's link if they have questions about reading or social studies. So I've included the Google Meet link here, and then here are the codes. We're using codes just like we did. Well, I know at the intermediate school last year, I don't know at the elementary school if they used codes or links, but we use codes because they're a lot more secure. So outside um, parties can't come in without permission, whereas if it's like a, just an open active link, anybody can pop into the Google Meet, so it's just not as secure. So that's why we use the codes. Um, for math and science, I always keep my agendas on the front slide. Um, let me close this real quick. So um, I will be posting the student video right here. Um, after I make it, I was making the parent video first. They have a jump starter that they have to do. Um, these are active links. So like if you click on one, it'll take you to that particular assignment, which the students are very used to. They know that if they're in my home in the room, they click Donnie, Mr. Kroger's, they click J. Croak's. Um, and then uh, after that, they'll have an ed puzzle that they'll have to complete. All students have an ed puzzle account. They just click the link and log in, as well as they have ST Math. Um, we are taking a grade on Lexia and ST Math this week. Since students are going to have a lot more independent time to work on those things, um, it, there'll be four points for Lexia, four points for ST Math. So it's like one day's worth of work um, because we really only have students do Lexia and ST Math one um like for four days as opposed to five. Um, as well as, I apologize, I do have to add a link in here for extra math as well, which is a weekly assignment that I do with my students um, and that the whole building uses as well. So I will add that in after I make this video. 
Um, if your student sees assignments posted for the next day, like tomorrow morning, I'll start working on Tuesday's assignments. So if they start seeing assignments for Tuesday and they want to get a jump start on Tuesday's work, they absolutely can. They can always work ahead um, if they would like to, but they don't have to. So that is where they'll find math. Nothing for stations. These are just extra activities. Like here's extra math right here, as well as Prodigy, Lexia, all that jazz. So that's where math will be. Uh, Mr. Kroger's homeroom, it looks absolutely identical. It's the same exact agenda. Then for science, I use the same type of setup for science. Um, I put the exact same notice in for um, science as well, just to make sure it was on every single page so all students had access. Um, for science, they just have a jump starter, which again, very similar to the math one, um, a three minute video, and then a one question exit ticket for science. We're starting a brand new topic for science this week, force in motion. So all of the, like this is very brand new to them. I tried to make it very simple. It's on push and pull. So like I said, very quick, easy, no stations, um, as well as the same exact links down here. So that is for math and science. Um, I keep all of my stuff right up front on the agenda for the kids to click on each day. Um, if you see assignments ahead, please work ahead if you'd like. If you want to just do it the day of, that's fine as well. Mr. Kroger does his a little differently. He is still out sick. Um, he is hoping to be online tomorrow, so I am still posting his assignments as of right now for him. Again, I put that same um, announcement on here just to make sure everybody knows. But Mr. Kroger, when he goes into his... They all go to modules, which can be this button here, or it's right up here on the top. Um, the kids all know this. They've all been doing this. But just to make sure, you know, everybody's aware, Mr. Kroger sorts his assignments by week. If you scroll all to the way to the bottom, you will see week 19 right here, which is next week, our virtual week. And I'll even go in and edit these to say virtual just to make sure. Um, the students have an assignment tomorrow on onomatopoeia, which we worked on last week. Um, very easy, look at the picture, give me a word that goes with it. Uh, here is the assignment for Lexia to remind them that they have to do Lexia each, um, each day. And then if you see, I've already got one of the assignments put in for Tuesday as well. So everything's dated. They don't have to do this tomorrow. They can always start on it ahead of time. We're totally fine with that. Um, so that's the reading um, agenda, or that's where you'll find the reading agenda. And for social studies, it's the same way because that's how Mr. Kroger does his. Um, same exact announcement. Make sure it's everywhere. Click on modules. Scroll to the bottom. Week 19, a map skills review. Um, this is just a link, and it takes them to a digital assignment. We did map. Um, map skills at the beginning of the school year. So it really should just be a review for the students. Um, but if they have any questions, they can always log in at 11 or at three and ask for help. Um, another thing I wanted to let you guys know, like let's say Monday, Wi-Fi is really patchy. It's not working. It's cutting in and out really bad. You can't get the assignments done. But Tuesday, the assignments are working perfectly and everything's fine. Totally fine with us. We're fine if you can't get to a Monday and you want to work on a Tuesday. Um, we are trying to take attendance during our morning meetings, but I'm fully aware that Wi-Fi at home works very differently than Wi-Fi at school does. Um, so those that's why those are really just check-ins and like, here's what you're doing for the day type meetings. Um, so I just want to make sure everybody knew it's not, this week is really just very independent, very um, review small activities that the kids can just keep practicing and reviewing. Um, we are starting a couple new things for math and science this week, a little bit of new things for reading, but they should all be things that the students can do independently. If they can't, they can come on at 11 or three to get some help. Um, so I hope this helps answer some of the questions. I will be available through my email and through Dojo. Um, every day this week, as well as Mr. Kroger from 8 a.m. until 3.30 p.m., just like we would be on a normal school day because those are our school hours. Anything after that time, we may or may not be available to answer questions. I apologize. Uh, we may or may not be available to answer questions just depending on 
what's going on due to that being our work, our contractual work time not being um, in session anymore. You can also always feel free to text me. Um, I've got my number posted on the um, parent website. You can text me or call me during school hours. I'll answer um, as, you know, obviously as quickly as I can. Unless I'm on a meet with a student, I won't be able to respond right away. Um, after school hours, I'll get to it as quickly as I can. So I hope, like I said, this helps answer all the questions that you guys had. Um, please feel free to reach out if you need anything. I'll make a similar video for the students. Just it'll be a little quicker because most of them know like where everything is by now. So um, I hope you guys have a great Sunday night. Thanks again for everything. And I will talk to you soon.